everyone welcome back to my channel welcome back welcome back so today as you can see we're a little late to the game um because it takes a while for things to ship to me but we are doing chewy's unboxing and we have both standard versions um signed versions from the official store and then we have a target and a barnes and noble that i'll pull later then we have the heaven version the digipack version and then we have the nemo version so we have all five versions I like to wait to do like a full video so you don't have to like wait for a part one or part two. That's just, you know, my vibe. So sorry y'all if y'all don't really like to wait, <laughs> but I feel like it's like a better viewing experience if it's all together. So quick introduction, my name is Maya. I also go by Sosteria, obviously as you can see by my screen name or my YouTube name. You can call me either or, it don't matter, honestly. So yes, let's get into the unboxing part. I'm gonna start with the two main versions. And this time I'm gonna go big to small. Um, so I'm gonna start with these, the main album versions, Heaven, Digipack, and then Nemo. So there's also gonna be timestamps, so you don't have to worry. Um, but other than that, that is pretty much it. Um, last little disclaimer, or I guess last announcement. If you'd like to subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. I wanted to reach 500 subscribers by the end of this year, and I'm at 409, I believe, which is wild. But anyway, before I go on a tangent of how thankful i am let's just uh <laughs> let's just get to the unboxing and yeah if you want to subscribe please subscribe it really helped me out and helped me reach my goal of applying for youtube partner so let's get into it okay let's get into the normal standard album versions um these are the signed versions like i said so excited i was able to get two of them so this is the run version and fly version i believe um if not they're swapped so i know just the names of the versions i can't really remember yeah i'm not too sure about how they name them and i kind of forgot honestly <laughs> um but yeah that's those are the two album versions so let's get started with let's start with this one okay so let's start with this version let me go ahead and open it um so yes there are two signed versions and i have a target and barnes and noble so we should have you know something exciting for you guys to watch <laughs> I was like, I couldn't think about what I wanted to say. But yeah, welcome back, guys, to my channel. I feel like it's been a minute. Um, but yeah, those, that's, or those were, oh my god. You know, guys, if you're new to my channel, you probably don't know this, but the getting back into it after not filming for a long time kind of slows me down and kind of has me thinking, like, <laughs> oh god, like, I gotta get back into the groove um, all the time. But anyway... That was the outer box, a little damaged. I will say that they were they came in a bubble mailer. Okay, so this is the little, what is it called? Um, booklet. Let me put this to the side. And then, yeah, let me redo that really quick. So this is the front spine and the back. Let me zoom into this part so you can see it. Yeah, but, um, that's what I was going to say. So they came in a bubble mailer, my two signed versions. So the damage was kind of very, like, I guess, easy because it wasn't in a box. The, like, this corner right here, I mean, it's not anything crazy, honestly. I think the outer packaging kind of got the brunt of, like, the, the damage. <laughs> but these are the inclusions. Let me go ahead and set this to the side. And let's get started with the photo book. So, oh, okay, hold on. Let me check to see. I don't think any inclusions will be in here. Okay, yeah. I was like, they shouldn't be. They should just be in the envelope. <laughs> um, but let's get started. So, um, how do I want to start this? In your dreams, counting your blessings. Yeah, she looks really good. So, if you guys didn't know, I am an OT9 Twice Collector. I don't know if I said that in the beginning in the intro or not. I always just ramble and always forget <laughs> what I say. So, sorry. Um... Wow, she looks stunning. I really like this, like the, um, what is it? It reminds me of, what's the word, filigree? Is that what it's called? Like that ornate type of design. Very beautiful. Um, but yeah, I'm an OT9 Twice collector. I do have a, um, a top three, but I only have a top three simply to like force myself not to collect every single item for every single member. Oh, ooh, this is cool. So we have a transparent page with the, title i am assuming that all the tracks are gonna have like this type of paper that's cool i like that are you ready to fall in love this love i have for you are you ready tonight 
love it. Um, I don't know. Sometimes I just get stunned by like the visuals, so I always <laughs> forget what I want to say or I lose my train my train of thought like ten times. Um, I guess for tracks, I didn't even get to speak about that. Um, I really love the title "Runaway," and I liked "Fly," which is funny because I think she wrote the lyrics, if I'm not cor incorrect. So she fully wrote "Fly" herself, which is I think why one of the album. Uh, versions is the fly version so it kind of matches like the first and the last track of the album this i did like this song but i thought the i don't know who this is um i think he's like a second gen like artist i believe i really don't know but he's like been in a lot of songs for like the solos for a lot of like girl groups that i'm interested in so i think he was also featured on uki solo which I, I don't know. I feel like I don't really enjoy listening to him, if I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> like, every time I hear him in a song, I feel like he ruins it. Just my opinion. You know, you guys know I'm blunt. Yeah, you know. So, you know, I don't give a fuck. So, I just be saying it. But I think he ruins every song he's on. Like, I like the song. But then I heard his verse and I'm like, ooh, turn it down, turn it down. But um, anyway, <laughs> I think those two tracks, um, the title and... Runaway were the standouts for me. The mid section of the album, not really something that I was like really vibing with, I'm gonna be quite honest, but it's Chewy. I don't, she can't do nothing bad per se, um, or at least not in my opinion. Her voice is beautiful. I just didn't really vibe with any other tracks. So that's my opinion on the music list. Ooh, this is pretty. I also kind of like that she did like a light and dark. She kind of had everything, like a light, mid-tone, and dark version of, like, all her looks. <gasps> Ooh, twice representation. Pretty. What does it say? You give me wings to fly again, I'll spread my wings and fly again. But yeah, sorry if I'm going a little fast. Oh, not the product placement. Ben & Jerry's. Hey. You know what? Actually, Ben & Jerry's is really good. Um, is it Cherry Garcia? That one was really good, honestly. At least I think it's Ben and Jerry's, but yeah. Oh, I like the phone. It has the, the leather on it. Oh, this color too. Match the nails. I try to match the album colors or like from the teasers that I saw. So hopefully I did a good job with that. <laughs> I wonder what like the messiness represents. Um, but yeah, I like the MV. The MV was really pretty. I thought it was really cool. Um, how many backup dancers she had there was a lot so I thought that was really nice um okay so let's start getting into like the extra things in the album so here we have the cd for this version I still don't know if it told us the version or not <laughs> I didn't catch it but this is the like I guess purpley version of the of the two I really should learn the album versions um but I want to say this is Ugh, I don't know. I was gonna say this is probably run, but they could either could be either or, honestly. Um, okay, so that was the photo book. Let me put this to the side so her gorgeous face doesn't ruin the the zooming on the phone, <laughs> like the the capture. Okay, so let's get into the inclusions. Um, oh my god, I wonder which member I'm gonna get, y'all. Sorry, it's like a corny joke, but I always do that. Um, so yes, there is. Oh, oh. Oh my god Ooh. honestly though from what i saw like in the the album like um details there's a lot of shit to like for her album which correct me if i'm wrong i don't remember oh, let me put, put this aside um i don't remember jiho or um what's it called or nyons having so many like extra inclusions am i tripping i can't really remember sorry trying to hide my photo cards from you guys Okay, so we have the film strip. I believe these are random one out of three, I believe, which is pretty standard for Twice Solos um, with these like little film strips. I know Geo had three, um, so I'm assuming she'll have three as well. Hopefully you can see that. Let me zoom in a little bit. All right, so we have the film strip. Let's just open this poster because I already have it <laughs> to show. Oh, Lord. Oh, this one. This one's pretty yeah like i really like the like the design motif on her top very pretty hopefully you can see that stunning 
oh there we go okay now it's focused hopefully you can see that <laughs> that's pretty yeah i feel like there's gonna be from what i see like a lot of inclusions actually um let's see this poster which i usually collect these this is random one out of three um i'm gonna still try but realistically these are really big i don't think they'll fit in the um in like a regular a4 binder because it's so like sorry because it's so like big long ways so here's the poster hopefully you can see it here's the back for the messages and let me see this one has nyan jungyun and momo so the honey line but that's really pretty i like this dress too very simple but effective which you guys know i love um let's move on to this oh stickers okay so here are the stickers very pretty the stickers i like these actually very nice i like the color scheme of this album i was actually surprised um like about how dark it was i don't know why <laughs> okay and then we have this printed photo i don't remember seeing this in the album details maybe i just was like too overwhelmed i thought this was going to be like the postcard at first but i was like i don't know so yeah that's pretty okay so let's get into this oh so these are like the message ones and this is like the standard posters that usually come with like the the size of the solos that like the, i know they had this for zone and nyan um jiho and nyan's the solo so i think these are the ones i'm gonna try to collect they're probably like one out of three honestly um but that's the poster and then guys this is the um star of the show i believe these postcards are like everyone gets them but if you obviously bought the signed exclusive on the twice store then you got the signed version but i believe you'll still get like the postcard in the normal album but anyway let's go one two three <gasps> Ooh, she signed it in like a metallic i don't know if you can see the signature right there that's pretty i like how it's like not overwhelming the postcard because like i still like to see like the whatever the postcard was but that's cool so this is the first one i believe they're all the same Ooh, i didn't notice okay she's getting a little um a little risque in the top i didn't notice that <laughs> okay girl we see you um but yeah this is the signed exclusive so i am gonna have two because i bought i needed two versions anyway so i'm like why not get two um like one of each and so i'm gonna sell the other one I don't know for how much or like what i want to do about that but keep an eye out on my instagram that's where i'll have like the the extra one posted but yeah cool to really have this signed version and let's move on to the second version oh before i do that actually okay so really quickly i like to do this with every version so this is everything that you get in the standard i don't know run version or fly version <laughs> sorry but the um like the portrait one so big poster poster oh this is the big poster poster random one out of three message one out of three stickers photo film strip and po postcard and then obviously if you bought the signed you got the signed one so that's pretty much it so let's move on to the next version guys imagine being this dumb i just filmed like the outro and just showed all that i didn't even show the photo cards which is like the main thing <laughs> <laughs> that like most people care about um yeah i really need to like film more often because i'm i always do dumb stuff like this okay anyway so here is the linty card which is hopefully ooh, that's cool hopefully i'll be able to show it but the linty card okay yeah you can kind of see it but like she's kind of closing and opening her eyes kind of like the sleep motif or theme that's been going around um or like that they stuck with for the card so that's cool we didn't get a linty for um zone or either of nyon so that's cool okay so that's the linty card and i believe this was a pre-order but yeah so if you buy it like in a certain time frame basically like it's kind of like while supplies last so um if you buy it early enough you'll get the linty if you buy it way later like a year later or something um you probably won't so yeah here are the photo cards so you do get four photo cards per album um as you can see i think i've noticed that with like twice it's like they're printing the colors you can even see that this one's a little lighter than this one i don't know something to just randomly point out because sometimes i think they're fake 
but I think it's just printing. That's weird. <laughs> but anyway, let's get started with the first pull of the era. I am going to try to collect all 15 cards because um, I always collect at least the bare minimum, the standard album cards. So let's see. Ooh, we got Casual Chewy. I think this is the outfit where she was like smiling a lot, which was really pretty. Um, hopefully you can see that. Let's go to this version. Ooh, okay, yeah. This is really pretty. I think I'm kind of leaning towards this top as my favorite, even though it's like really simple and like the color is white, but I still like it. Okay, here we go. Next one. Ooh, Casual Chewy Part 2. That's pretty. That's cute. Okay, let's go on to the blue version. So I think there's like, what is it? Four. I think they're split between this teal back and then the purple back, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Here we go. Ooh, this is the red dress. I like this one too. This one's more of like bold. It's giving more like, um, like Jisoo flower. That reminds me of like the hair color with the red. Very pretty. Okay, so that those are my photo card pulls for this version. Now we can finally move on to the next version. <laughs> okay, so let's get into this version. Um, I'll have like, I always do like my little um, captions where you see the specific details of like what the album version is um, for my timestamps. So <laughs> very sorry, I can't remember right now, but um, here is this landscape version, I guess I'll call it for now. So here is the front. Here's the side, here's the back, here's this side, first mini album. Isn't that crazy? Like we're, we have so many, I think like a third of the members, yeah, are pretty much done with their solos or their first round of solos, um, which is really cool. But here's the packaging. This is like the more teal version. I'm gonna put these two things to the side for now, like I did with the other version. Okay, let's get into, oh, well, I guess I can show this. Here's the spine for this, and then the back. I really like this color of teal too, by the way. Yeah, it's just very like moody, and I think Chewy's really bringing in like the, the ushering in for the fall, <laughs> the fall era that we're all about to be in. Um, Cause summer's officially over, I think in like in a week or two. I think the 22nd is like the official day of fall or whatever. But anyway, let's get into it. In your dreams, count your blessings. So yeah, I think the lyric page is going to be the same. So I won't bore you and read it. <laughs> it's going to be the same thing. Um, but I like like the subtle, the subtle teal blue like shimmer. Um, one thing I always have said about Twice is that I wish they would like push their like makeup more. I feel like they always do like natural um, looks. And I feel like for Chewy, this is like a little more than what she usually does. I feel like she usually just does like a, like a liner moment. But I actually really do like that they pushed it a little sultrier for this. And it makes sense for the comeback too. So um, actually I'm really <laughs> proud, I guess you can say, that she went like a little, like kind of committed more within the makeup area. You know, I'm a cosmetologist, so I'm always looking at like makeup and hair and stuff. So... It's something that I really like to point out because I enjoy it. Um, but yeah, this like moodier version. I want to say the other version was a little, I guess it felt lighter because the the main outfits were like white and like lighter tone. But this one is way more like, even the setting is just, I think this is the cover by the way. Um, sorry, <laughs> I always get distracted. But this one's more like very, like the sultry vibe basically. Um, like leaning into it way more. I really like this look, very understated, but I just wouldn't expect Chewy to wear something like this, I guess. And it's like kind of fun. Um, yeah, because when I think of Chewy, I think of like Model S, like gowns and stuff, which I think the first looks kind of encompass what I would kind of picture Chewy in. But this one's more like, like casual, but like slay, you know? <laughs> Um, especially the earrings. I really like the chunky earrings. Um, she looks like a fierce like businesswoman. Ooh, these might be my favorite photos. I really like the filter, like the, the Gaussian blur effect a little bit. Very moody. Wow, this is 
beautiful, but I mean, it's Chewy. What do you expect? You know, she is very beautiful. I really like the sepia color, like the, I don't know, like, um, I can't think of the real word, but like a grungy beige. <laughs> I can't think of the real color, but um, whatever. Here we go. Here's the red dress version. Yeah, this very much reminds me, um, especially because Jisoo had like this um, format of photo book as well. Um, I just keep getting callbacks to that. I think that was like the first solo I ever bought was Jisoo solo. So brings back memories. Ooh, red lip. The red lip is pretty. Mm, nice, nice. I like the setting too. Um, very nice. I did hear people, <laughs> now that it's been out for a while. Um, oh, here's the, the infamous telephone booth. Um, like Moonlight Sunrise. I think some other videos she also had. Um, like she always has moments with the telephone booth. I saw that meme going around. People were like, Chewy. They're not answering you, just leave it alone. Uh, ooh, nice shot, very pretty. If you can dream it, you can be it, exactly. But yeah, I forgot what I was saying, <laughs> sorry. Oh yeah, people were um, talking about her stage presence, um, which I think it's fine. Um, I think people are being a little mean-spirited on that part, but um, I guess I'll let that be its own thing <laughs> let's just continue on to the album um here we go here's the cd um same type of like artwork um but instead teal i just really like this color i feel like my nails are like a little off i think this one's this polish is like a little too green but um i couldn't find like a perfect like blue bluish lean teal so whatever but that was the photo book let me get that out the way And then let's go to the inclusions. Let's not forget the photo cards this time. Like, duh. Jesus Christ. Okay, got all of it in one swoop. Okay, so we have our film strip. I do believe it's the same one because it was the red dress one. So <laughs> that's unlucky, but we have the film strip. And then for the poster, I think this is like the mini poster. Ooh, new one. Okay, so we got the red one. We lay it a little flat nice nice very pretty her hair is so long too i think it's extensions as well which um i love extensions they're so fun to like play with like they really change the look which is pretty or they change your look you know here is the big poster i believe there's three of these as well these big posters i honestly don't hang um i think i'm gonna hang this one though only because um i've hung every solo so far so I have like a Nyon solo poster and a Geo poster. So I think I'll hang this one because I really like the color scheme and her makeup and I don't know, her hair. Everything is just nice to me <laughs> in, that, in that poster version. Um, here are the message posters, which I think is a new one from what I can tell. Oh no, it's the same one. <laughs> That's fine. Um, here's the poster, same as the last one. Oh God, these larger inclusions can put the death of me sometimes. Um, sticker sheets, I believe they're gonna be the same for all the standard versions, so nothing too crazy. Then we have our printed photo. Um, is this the same in like every one? I gotta relook at the details, I don't remember, but um, it's the same as the last one, so not too sure. And then I believe this is gonna be the same, but this is my extra signed, let's see. Ooh, hold on, let me get the other one. I'm trying to see which one do I want to keep? <laughs> I think I want to keep this one. I like how she signed it more like, it's like more even the spacing between everything. So I'll keep this one and then I'll sell this one. So if you're interested in it, um, like I said, just keep a lookout. And I like how she used like a Sharpie that was the metallic one. The silver really fits too. Very pretty. Okay, so here's this one. And then <laughs> this time, I'm not going to forget, here is the lenticular for ooh, for this version. And it is horizontal. Hopefully, oh, let me set this down. Hopefully, you can see the linty action in here. But really pretty. I like these lin linty cards. They're pretty. And they kind of like 
add that fun spice like when you're flipping through your binder so anyway here is the first photo card here we go it's a teal version <gasps> Ooh. okay i think this set might be my favorite yeah this look overall i don't know it just stood out to me um even when i was oh let me see if i hopefully i showed it close enough um it just stood out to me for some reason i really like it second one okay red dress no dupes yet i don't think but let me be quiet before <laughs> Before I end up cursing my own self out. And I'll be like, damn. Ooh, this dress. Pretty, but like not my favorite, if that makes sense. I do like the makeup, how blushy it is. I feel like this is more like the the fresh type of... Chewy, I know, pretty much. <laughs> or like what I expect from Chewy. And then here's the last purple version. I think this is a dupe, but stunning nonetheless. Fun to look at it again. <laughs> Okay, so here's all the photo cards. Let me see if I can bring everything down. Um, okay, so that was everything for this version. So we have the four photo cards, the Lindsay signed version, printed photo, which I don't know if there's different ones, and then the film strip. So yeah, that's everything for this. Okay, guys, let's get into the heaven version. So I did get this little envelope, sort of similar to, well, I guess it might be the same packaging. I don't remember, but um, essentially this is like the packaging they usually do with the digipacks. Um, but for this version, we there was like I guess like first press um, benefits for this as well, which is strange because I've never done that before for any other album packaging. But I just want to show you real quick, and then we'll open this later though. I just wanted to like kind of prep it for later on. <laughs> Um, but this is the album, so let me open it real quick. It's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Um, honestly, I kind of didn't know what to expect. I didn't look at the dimensions. Um, I, was, I just ordered it because I knew I was going to want it anyway. So that's the life of a collector. You just buy stuff as you know that you're going to want it anyway. <laughs> so yeah, here we go. So let me take the plastic off. All right. Ooh. What kind of moves? Um, but anyway, this is the front. Here's the spine. Oh, let me show a better version of it. Here's the back. Here's the bottom. All right, so let's get into it. So it does come off like a like a regular box, I guess. It's kind of like a box with a cutout is my best explanation. I'm going to put that to the side. And I'm going to try to take the... Ooh, okay, there's nothing underneath. So, let me see, I'm gonna put this right here. This is the CD. I'm not gonna take it out the packaging, I'm just gonna show you guys, but pretty much the same print, it was like on all the CDs. So yeah, pretty packaging, a pretty color. I really like the dark teal for this one too. Very pretty. Okay, let me move this to the side, and then let's get into it. So basically this is like, um, it's like a postcard version, essentially. <laughs> so if you get this version and you wanna surprise yourself, be careful, because it was right underneath this, face up. So, um, but anyway, yeah, this is like a postcard version. So I'm gonna try to go close, but here is the first one. Oh, let me show the back at least once. I think they should all be the same. And this is the poster, I think. So another inclusion, but here we go. Make sure I'm in frame. I actually don't know if it's easier to just show it. <laughs> Um, oh, okay, there's different orientations again. Um, they really like to switch it up. So it's kind of hard as like an unboxer <laughs> to sit there. Oh, that one's different. So this one is the light version. Pretty. There's this. These are really like, they're very pretty though. I think these are the same images from the photo books that we just saw, if I'm not mistaken, just in postcard version. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Just the companies that do like these extra versions for no reason um are just very extra i really like this picture though um but yeah i think these are the same photo book pictures so i'm just gonna go through them really quick um because we already went through the photo books Ooh, this one's red pretty um but yeah i just think it's very like unnecessary very extra very money hungry but you know it's still cool to like for the full collectors, I guess. So I try not, like, not to like care that much about it. And honestly, I don't. I wouldn't buy this. Um, oh, here's a third or fourth back purple. 
Um, but obviously I'm buying it, so. <laughs> but yeah, I can still, you know, criticize it. It's just kind of like, why? Like, what is the, like you, you add more photo cards to this version and like, I think it really what's annoying is the claim that it's like more eco-friendly and like, I guess like the reasoning for it is dumb because it never makes sense like to have this many versions of an album um, besides overconsumption. <laughs> Ooh, this is pretty. Um, but like that's pretty much it all the time. So I don't know. I guess we're just gonna keep having thousands of versions, <laughs> which is crazy because I think Stray Kids, um, I don't collect them, but I do watch videos of other groups that I don't collect just for fun. And I know Stray Kids, plus they're JYP family, so um, I kind of look out for what they're doing with their packaging because um, they started with Nemo versions first, I think, and like I think NMix too. Is NMix JYP? Don't remember. Um, but I know Stray Kids came out with Nemo, and I'm like, I know for sure, like they're gonna have to do that for Twice. Like, I was actually surprised they didn't start with Twice with that. But yeah. So when it comes to extra inclusions, that is what you can expect <laughs> pretty much okay so speaking of inclusions let's get the inclusions out for this version Ugh, if i can grab them jesus okay so let's start with the little first press packaging so you do get a photo card and they're not random so let me see you get a coaster and a photo card so this this concept again like the cozy concept and then one of my favorite dresses for this one or favorite tops so here's the bag I think, I can't remember if this is similar to, ooh, that's pretty. I really like how with Chewy's solo, they did pretty backs. Um, I think Nyon and Chio had some, but they weren't as like pretty if I can remember, in my opinion, or like the things that I vibe with. But yeah, super pretty, really like these. All right, so this is again, first press. And then we have the lyric book, I think. Yeah, lyric book. Pretty big, pretty long both sides that's cute let's see we have the poster which i think they're also doing random one out of three. Oh, the album that's pretty um i think there's like a big version of this too if i don't if i'm remembering correctly from the last version um but anyway all right so here's the main thing the main event is the photo card there are random one out of three i saw the card on accident guys um like i said hopefully in the editing i'll cut it out or maybe you didn't see it but i did see it and it is my favorite concept so this is the card that i definitely would have wanted i think there was like one blue version one red version and one white version um which is i think what they really did with the nemo too there was like three different versions that they try to like make um in each concept but this is really pretty hopefully you guys can see it um but yeah so you get like i said this was weird because they had a first press photo card and the coaster is new i don't think coasters were like a thing in the other solos if i remember correctly because i don't remember seeing them except for like i think one of them was like a signed version i think it was Gio's signed version which i didn't get to get which was sad but anyway <laughs> let's move on to the next version okay so let's get into the dishy pack let me get my little kitten knife real quick to open it um, but I like the digipack. Usually for solos, so far the theme for them has been like a totally different concept from the, um, like not totally different. I felt like Jiho's was the most different um, when it came to it. But here is the outer packaging. Light in the front, dark in the back. Here's the spine. And let's get into it. So here's the opening. Usually there's nothing in here. <laughs> They're always on the side. So let me see, I'm gonna pull this out and then let me get the CDs to show you really quick. Ooh. Okay, this one's like a, it's black, which I thought it was gonna be like a lighter color, but I guess it fits with the like dichotomy of light and dark that is in this album. So, well, to me it's mostly dark, but they, they do have like a little bit of light elements. Um, okay, let me move this to the side. Okay, so this is the photo book. Oh, let me see, zoom in. Here's the front. Here's the back. Very pretty. I like the color. And it's blue for her member color, which is also cool. Um, let me see. It's going to be a struggle to 
try to <laughs> open this. I'll try to do it like this. Um, but yeah, I like how they changed it up for this version. Ooh, her flower. That's cute. Yeah, I think this one's really like the fresh and cute version, <laughs> I guess. Oh. I might have to do it like this. I usually like to do it the other way, but it's not really working out because these long ass nails, even though I love long nails. <laughs> All right, so that was a little mini photo book version. Let me move that to the side. And then let's get to inclusion. So let's start with the biggest thing, which is the mini poster. I think for this is only two. So I got this light blue version of the poster. Hopefully you can see that well. And then, let's see. So this is the pre-order postcard, I believe. Um, they always do something like this. Um, kind of like the first press thing again. So um, if you want it, try to back it early so that way you can have access to it. And then let's go to sticker. There's three stickers. I got the blue one for this version. And then Polaroid, same thing. Kind of like a first press item thingy pretty i know um nyan had that recently in her solo isn't that crazy two solos in one year hopefully they pump them out faster because <laughs> you know if you're if you're once can't get enough um so let's do this one this is a first press card i really like the color of this one i think it's like a blurred out like flower here's this one pretty oh yeah i think that big flower is like the in the background kind of maybe what they were like um blurring out for the color on the back of the card and then thinking about you Ooh, this chewy card so same concept as this one i don't know there might be one like in the oh it's the same outfit just different colors so it's like pink and blue but some of the outfits are the same so um yeah i don't know but i know there are three random cards so that's cute okay okay and then just to recap really fast um this was the pre-order first press items um this is always going to be in there random this might be first press don't remember yeah sorry can't remember but i want to say no most likely um just make sure you look at the album details <laughs> and then this is random one out of three and then this poster is random one out of two so that's it for the digipack version let's move on to the next version Okay, so let's get into the Nemo version. So here it is. Let me take it out the packaging real quick. Oof. All this plastic. Oh, the environment. Save us. Okay, anyway. So here's the outer packaging. Here's the top or the front. Here's the spine. Here's the back. There is a little like holographic or chrome element to it. And then here's the side. And then all Nemo packages come. I will... I just started collecting Nemo packages um, with Twice's with you, so I'm just going off of that. But from normally what I've noticed is they have like um, the same plastic packaging. So, and it's pretty, um, it's like thick, almost like, almost acrylic, I guess I would say. Um, but here's the back and then the front. I'm gonna move this out the way really quick. So here we go. It has this little latch on the side. Oh, Lord. And then you just open it. Okay, so let me take this part out real quick. I believe this is the the cards. So let me show this really quick. Um, I think you can take this out. I just never do because it's kind of sealed in there a little bit. But um, hopefully you guys can see that. It has like the, basically it's like the credits page in the normal album. And then, yeah, so nothing changes with that. So I'm going to put this to the side. And then so you just open this. You have this QR code. I don't ever use the QR code. So if you guys want to steal it from me, go ahead and steal it. I don't know if it's like one per person or or not, but <laughs> whatever. If you know, you can take it. I don't care. Let's see. We have the QR code instructions. I'm trying to find the random card. Oh, Lord. I think the signed one is the random. OK, so this is the random card. I'm going to put this to the side. Well, Nah, let's just do it like this. <laughs> Sorry, I always like debate on like what I want to do. But um, so yeah, let's see. You have the QR code. Then you have this little pamphlet, which is the essentially lyric book. 
Hopefully you guys can see that. Let me see, I don't think I focused enough on the other side real close. So that, there's that. Also putting this to the side because I don't want my camera to lose focus. And then <laughs> like my one video. So QR code and then let's get into it. So the cards are gonna be concept photo cards and there should be like split up between the concepts. So we have the blue dress version. Hold on, let me see. Hopefully it's zoomed in. All right, then we have this, um, I forgot what kind of concept I called it <laughs> in my head, but then we have red version. Ooh, horizontal card. The filigree version. Then we have, oh, I think, is it half and half? Then we have this casual chewy. Oh, I guess not. Oh, they randomly decided to add those. <laughs> and then here's this version from the photo book. This blue dress, which is starting to become like my fave or is my fave pretty much. This card, oh, spoiler. And then we have, the, oh, that's really cute. I like that actually. Oh, Jesus. And then we have the random one out of three card, which is the red dress version. So this is gonna be cute. Um, I think I'll put it like in my binder next to all the other red dress concepts. But yeah, this is the, um, the signed back version, which is the, that's how you know it's the random one. Um, but yeah, there's only three, I think. Yeah, I think there's only three besides having like nine per version per member, like the like standard albums. <laughs> so that's a good thing. If you want to collect these, I think it's a little more feasible than like an OT9 collection. But yeah, guys, that's it for this version. It's always really quick because this is like the miniature version of the album or like the quick version of the album. So yeah, let's move on to the extra pulls now. Okay guys, this is the wind down set part. <laughs> Sorry, I can't speak. The wind down section of this video. Um, this is just for additional pulls, just so you can see what the Barnes & Noble exclusive is and the Target exclusive is. So let's go ahead and start with Target. I don't know why I hesitated, but let's go ahead and start with that. <laughs> let's see our pulls. So let's see our large inclusions. Just hopefully everything is different. So yeah, this is the target version which is no random card it's just one type so same thing with barnes and noble there's only one like additional photo card essentially um let's see and i think the yeah the quality is a little better on the <laughs> on the edges of those but let's just pull everything out i'm not gonna try to hide anything let's just see what we get Ooh. let me see well, I'm gonna hide it from you a little bit. <laughs> okay, large poster, I think, or mini poster. Did I get this already? I think I got this one already. Well, just my luck. Okay, <laughs> let's go to the next one. Uh, poster, same poster, the really big one that I wanted to hang up. And then, let's see, printed photo. I guess there's like only one extra printed photo. This one's a little damaged the way that it was packaged, but whatever. Sticker sheets, message. Ooh, I think this might be a different message poster. Yep. The white outfit. This one is from Taekyun and Cheyang. Cool. Oh, this is a more like casual poster. Pretty. Like I said, I don't know why they're so awkwardly shaped. I kind of hate it, but whatever. Um... You get two messages? Two message posters? Oh, this is a duplicate anyway. Is that a thing? Was I supposed to get two or was that like a manufacturer error? I don't know. But it's two. Okay, that's cool. Um, Let's see. These are the two special cards. This Linty is the same Linty for every version. I think this is the Barnes & Noble. So let me show the random cards first. Okay. Let me see. Sorry. I hate when things are messy. My brain gets disorganized. <laughs> okay, let me see. And then we also got the same poster strip, which is... That's sad. <laughs> I might have to trade for the posters. Anyway, photo card time. Let's go. Here we go. Blue version. This is a dupe, I think? Maybe? Oh, there's a dupe for that one. I don't think this is a dupe. I think I got all the full set for this outfit. I think, hopefully. Pretty. Oh, this is cute. <laughs> no, so yeah, I know I didn't pull this one. That's funny. This is probably gonna go in the middle somewhere. 
Um, and then let's look at the Barnes & Noble. First of all, the Barnes & Noble back is really pretty. I like how it has like the, the shimmering lights on the water. Or it looks like water to me. Anyway. Ooh, okay, yeah. It's a concept card. So most of the time... Oh, this is Target. Not Barnes & Noble. Sorry, I misspoke. This is the Target version exclusive. Very pretty and very standard for Target. They usually are not selfies with Twice. Twice usually does only concept photos for... Um, for things so that makes sense but anyway here are my pools for the target version so let's open the barnes and noble now and for photo cards i think i'm doing pretty good um i know i have like that <laughs> that one chewy photo card like three times already but that's fine um let's see let me pull all this to the side there's so much organizing i have to do once i get done with all this it's crazy um if you film photo card or you film like unboxings you know that it can be a little crazy when you're doing like so many unboxing things at once <laughs> okay let me see barnes and noble um also by the way guys i didn't pay this price um the girl there price matched me automatically to 25 dollars, which was insane um i didn't ask for the price match i don't know if barnes and nobles is doing this is a new thing or i just never noticed um but yeah it took like six dollars off to price match for the target version so um it's worth asking because it's possible it even said it on my receipt that it was price matched um it didn't say to what store but it just said price match minus like six dollars so that's worth asking about um if you want to and you feel brave enough to do so i don't care what's the what's the worst they're gonna tell me is no <laughs> so i always ask i'm like girl give me that discount if you can um but yeah i thought that was cool so there's that oh not me um yeah let's just show all of it then let's do the photo cards first oh i think these are new i know that's new oh this look is so stunning let me see this is the yeah let's, this is the barnes and noble oh that back is really nice i think it's like bedding with like um a, a curtain that's a really nice cozy vibe and it matches the vibe of Chewy's outfit. Cute. Um, let's see. The rest are these. We have this outfit. So this is the first outfit or first pull for this outfit. I'm pretty sure. Then we have cute Chewy again. This is a dupe and this is a dupe. I think. I don't know. I'm telling you guys it gets way too complicated too fast. <laughs> um, let's see. And then the Linty card. Okay. Linty card. Stickers. Oh. So the printed photos are different. I just got unlucky and pulled the same one. But I think there's only two or three. Something like that. I know it wasn't. It's not a lot. I know that for sure. Um, this, I think, is the... Yeah, I already have this. This was the message from... Who was it again? Ugh. Yeah, from Undyline. And then film strip. <laughs> I hope there's only one film strip. I haven't really checked. I feel like there's more, though. I don't know. And then these big posters, same one. Like I said, I don't know how many there are of that small poster. I am collecting these, so yes, okay. I think I pulled all three, probably, I think, hopefully. Um, but yeah, anyway, those were the extra pulls. Okay, so let's get into the Digipack extra pull really quick. Um, I'm gonna open this first and then I'll open the envelope. But yeah, so you, I bought the other one from Target, so it has these inclusions already in it so um i don't know i they with twice it's kind of like they if you're not familiar if you're familiar sorry for this mini rant um not rant but like tidbit <laughs> so um if you order a u.s version these inclusions which is just like the postcard and the extra card the first press items basically they come inside this if you order it from the u.s i don't know about for like other retailers but i do know that's the case for like um target because that's usually where i order them from um, but yeah, I usually try to save these, but it's kind of hard because of this. They always do this little sticker. Okay, as you can see, I kind of failed. <laughs> but I do like to keep those just in case. But as you can see, it's just going to be the first press items. Um, they call it a pop, but like to me, um, like a real pre-order benefit is something that's special. <laughs> and this is kind of not, but yeah, as you can see, it's just going to be dupes of this um, or of these two items. So there's that. Well, let's get into the extra pulls really quick. 
This is gonna be fast too because <laughs> it's the Digipack version. Um, okay, let's see, we got the Polaroid. Okay, so these are the random things. So let's see, sticker. Ooh, the pink one. I don't think I have this one. I think I pulled the blue one. So hopefully, if I remember correctly. Um, then we have the ran oh, random poster. Oh, okay, I think I got the other one. Yes, I think I pulled the vertical one for the other one. Yeah, like I said, I really don't remember. Anyway, for the card, here we go. One, two, three. Peace sign, Chewy. I think this is different. Oh, no, it's a dupe. Never mind. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I think the poster is the same. Um, but like I said, I'm going to put everything together at the end just so we can see. But that was it for the extra pulls. So let me get everything together and then we'll um, do an outro. Okay, y'all. So we're finally made it to the end of the video. Yes, there's so many versions of this album and like general and K-pop, like they're just releasing a lot of versions. So these videos get like longer and longer and longer. <laughs> so hopefully y'all like long form content because that's what I want to be known for. That's what I like. Um, I'm not really like a TikTok girly or like an Instagram reels. I try to post on those, but they're just not like my cup of tea and like I struggle with that form. So this is where I feel like I thrive. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. So quick rundown before we end the video. We have the Target and Barnes & Noble exclusives. We have the Heaven First Press and then these are Digipack. These two are, well, I think, yeah, this is the Nemo exclusive or Nemo Random, um, Heaven Random. These are the two Linty cards, album cards. And these are the um, the set of the Nemo cards, like the, the nine pocket set or the nine set i think it is one two three four five six seven eight nine uh like eight it's like eight cards um unless i'm miscounting but anyway <laughs> regardless these are all my pulls for today um i did sleeve them obviously but yeah so that's it thank you guys for tuning in like i said i'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe i'm really close to hitting the goal for the end of the year and there are a lot of things coming so anyways um just want to say thank you once for tuning in i love this comeback i love chewy i love all members of twice twice will always be my old group they're what made me stick to k-pop so and they were like my first k-pop love so <laughs> yes always expect me to do twice unboxings um but other than that that is it thank you guys bye love you Mwah.